Aside from the scores of athletes wandering around the venue, there is another site that has been impossible to miss at the Quintele Sports Complex. Everywhere you look at these small three-seater vehicles in various colors, ferrying anybody and everybody around. From the media center to the main stadium to the parking lots to the swimming pool facility, all one needs to do is hail a car and get in. What makes these cars stand out though is how they run. All cars are entirely powered by electric energy harnessed from the potent Brazzaville sun. It takes about four or five hours of charge, meaning at night you can drop off the car, connect it to an electric outlet and drive the car the next day between 250 and 300 kilometers without a problem. The solar power is stored in several blue storage batteries off-site from the stadium before then charging the 50 blue Congo cars on-site. And it's not only the smart cars on display, but also 15 of these buses that run a circuit around the entire Quintele complex, picking and dropping off passengers. Already a similar system is in use at the University of Abidjan Cocody in Côte d'Ivoire, where the buses are used to transport students around the campus, as well as the first University of Yaoundé in Cameroon. The company behind this technology, Bolloré of France, hopes this model can be expanded further. Using this facility, we at Boloe are currently only running a fleet of vehicles, but this system can also be used to power factories, villages, towns or even stadiums. We have the capacity to expand electricity energy to such projects. Right now, the sun basically powers our cars. We have the panels, the blue storage and the cars. But what we do, especially in Africa, because you have such marvelous sun here, is extract the maximum solar energy to run this system. With the issue of sustainable energy continuing to rise to the forefront in Africa, how countries can wean themselves off traditional power continues to be a major issue. Now rolling out a scheme such as this one across Africa may still be a long ways off, but the owners of these cars do believe that initial steps such as this one here at the All Africa Games can and will take off. Now, of course, the challenge ahead is by all means not as easy as getting into one of these vehicles and driving off, but it does represent a step in the right direction towards clean and sustainable energy across Africa. Mahia Mutua, CCTV, Brazzaville, Congo.